Iraqi intelligence officials say a dispatch was sent to coalition countries warning of imminent assaults by ISIS just one day before the attacks. They also say they warned France specifically of a potential attack. Friday's terror attacks are raising concerns about the Syrian refugee crisis. A possibly fake Syrian passport was found near the body of one of the attackers who managed to pass through a migrant corridor in a flood of asylum seekers. We got a chance to talk to U.S. Representative Bradley Byrne earlier today, and we asked him his thoughts on the terror attacks and the refugee situation. Tell me, what was your reaction to the attacks on Paris on Friday? Well, it's a tragedy. Obviously, it's a tragedy for the people of France, but it's really a tragedy for everyone in the civilized world. These are very effective terrorists. They're pure evil, but they're very effective at doing what they're doing, and we haven't been taking them seriously. They've never come forward and said, this is how we take them out. We've had these sort of one-off attacks using some jets here and a jet there, and every now and then they announce, oh, we got this person. Well, that does not comprise a strategy. One of the bombers in Friday's attacks was a Syrian refugee. Now we're seeing Syrian refugees coming to America. They've, they've gone into New Orleans yes. right now. What are your thoughts on that? Well, you know, when this was first announced, this refugee program a month or so ago, I spoke out against it and said, we don't need to do this. This is a big mistake. I have, I have a heart like everybody else. I see the refugee crisis, but it poses too much of a threat to the American people. I've been through a classified briefing on this, I've heard their vetting process, and I'm totally unsatisfied by what I hear. I don't think it's enough to protect the American people. There's too great a danger here, and we should not be laying them in. So I'm sending the president, the president a letter tomorrow morning demanding that he stop the Syrian refugee program in the United States right now, completely. Nobody else coming in this country, and let's go find the people we've let in and pull them back to some sort of a safe place where we know they can't get into some situation where they can harm our people because anybody that's coming from that part of the, from the world could be a mortal threat to people in this country and that's not acceptable to me and I don't think it's acceptable to most people in the Congress from, which, from, from either party.